My name is Michael Winter. I'm third horn in the Boston Symphony Orchestra for about eight years now. Um, I actually went to school across the street at New England Conservatory of Music. Um, I moved from California to Boston to study with players in the BSO. Many of those players are still here, so literally my teachers are now my colleagues. And despite being their students, they hired me anyway, which is pretty cool. Um, and this is a dream come true, uh, being a part of this organization. We have a piece coming up called Lark Ascending by Vaughn Williams. And it's one of these pieces that is almost kind of atmospheric. It's, it's this incredibly light but warm string sound. And one of the amazing things about that piece is whether you're listening in your car, it, you're just kind of flipping through stations and you happen to stumble on it, or you're sitting in a concert hall, it has this amazing ability to lower your blood pressure and your heart rate like 10 points. It's such a relaxing, calming piece of music. And in a lot of ways, every time I hear it, it has this almost kind of springtime feel, like you're just kind of sitting, you know, car noise, no sirens, no nothing. You're just listening to the breeze, you're listening to birds, kind of everything starting fresh every spring. That's definitely the feeling that, that I always have when I listen to this piece, whether it's in the, the dead of winter or scorching summer, it kind of emotionally takes me back to that, that place. Anytime we play a new piece, particularly something by Tom Otis, our, one of our artistic partners, um, we play a lot of his stuff, um, including things he's written specifically for us. And it's literally a new beginning because it's the first time his music has ever been played sometimes. Everything he writes is really cool. It's usually some of the hardest stuff that I have to play in a season, but it's absolutely worth you know every ounce of energy because it's so much fun and the sound we can get in this building. The way I feel walking to Symphony Hall right now is the same that I felt the first time I walked here as a student or the first time I walked on stage as, a, as an extra player when somebody got sick and I was the only person around, which is utter awe and amazement. This is literally one of the best concert halls in the world. Um, someone in another major orchestra when I was in school did a master class and said, boy, this is such a great hall and if you don't believe me, just play really anywhere else in the world. And he wasn't kidding. Um, the history of this place, the number of pieces like Bartok Concerto for Orchestra, which is one of the great staples of, of our literature, happened right here. Um, the number of things that were premiered here, it's an incredible legacy. It's kind of the same as walking into Fenway Park. You just look up and it's almost impossible to come up with words to really describe the, the kind of vibe that the place has. Um, the number of things that have happened here in history is absolutely incredible. I tell people that winning a job in the Boston Symphony is like hitting a Grand Slam in the World Series. The odds are overwhelming that that's never going to happen. But if it does, you're about the luckiest person on the planet. That's what I felt like the day I won the job. That's still what I feel like every single day when I come to work. We miss all of you. Um, this has been a really, really hard time in just about every possible way in people's lives. We are immensely grateful for the support we've gotten from our fans on social media. Um, we're immensely grateful to the entire BSO apparatus for putting together a system so that we can do remote concerts that we can stream, um, even without an audience. But the bottom line is we still miss all of you tremendously, and we're excited for the day that we can all be back on stage together and seeing all of you out there. Yeah.